Hey guys, so here's a demo of the game I've been working on called Coulombic. It's a magnetism or electrostatics uh, simulator. And I got a few new things this time around. Uh, there's uh, the puzzles. I got a few new puzzles and also they say when it's complete and a high score if, if the others I'll show later. Uh, there's a sandbox mode, although I need to beat some puzzles to, to go into it. And you can clear your scores in progress, which I'll do to start from zero, so they're all locked. I've also got these tips now. So every level has, you know, a prompt, a, a basic challenge, or maybe just in this one you just will have to watch, and then it explains maybe some controls or something. You get started. So this one you just watch. You, you learn that you need to press G, like to go. That's, that's really all there is to it. Uh, there's a success! We won! Uh, so I'll go to the next level. And, you know, again, you know, basic controls. Uh, here you just need to look around. But uh, the challenge info right here, don't show this tip again. So if I restart, it's kind of annoying to keep getting this tip. So you can hide that. Uh, you press go. And this one you just need to turn around. It's like, you know, move your mouse to look. And I'm not going to go through every level, uh, so I'm going to go here, but we're going to go with uh, this one. This is another one you just watch. So, uh, yeah, in the middle there's a big heavy thing with a big charge, and all over the place there are these, which are medium heaviness with, uh, the, the size is how heavy they are, actually. And uh, pretty charged up, and then little guys kind of charged. So they're going to go there, but now the... And you're supposed to kind of guess, you know, what's going to happen. This green guy is, is attracted to this big red guy in the middle more than those little red guys are repelling. So when they come into contact, the inverse square law overpowers those little red ones. The red ones go away from the big red one. Um, and, you know, you can, in this level, double or divide charges or you can do whatever you want in this one, actually but you just have to watch. So the next level is tug of war. This explains the inverse square law a little bit, but basically you can double the charge. So do you want to double this one or do you want to double this three that's twice as far? Or do you want to double this 12 that's four times as far? You know, what's the best way? Because if you just press go, this big red guy is going to go this way and blast away all of those, and you're going to lose points. So, oh, we lost! Ah, restart level. Uh, I won't ruin the surprise for you, but you know, you win if, if you choose the right combo here using the inverse square law. Um, sandbox. Uh, it needs to be unlocked, and maybe I should actually just show a score here, eh? This level is pretty cool. Pull in as many particles as you can into the big sphere. And you won't catch them all, but how can you catch the most? So there's a big sphere. And all these red guys, well, if I press go, they're just going to go straight, right? So if I restart, I've got these black guys and black cubes, and I can change, you know, add, remove electrons, double the charge. What should I do? What's the best way to suck in as many as you can? You're not going to get them all. But what are you going to do? Maybe I should pour it all in the right in the middle there? I don't know. So you can see they're all kind of curving a bit. Was that the best spot? It wasn't. <laughs> but it's better. So my score is going to be better. But we did miss a lot. And eh, the timer is... So we did win, but you, know, you can do better. But if I go here now, there's a best score. Best 102. You can do better. Um, sandbox. I didn't do all the puzzles, but I would made a hack if you just <laughs> click sandbox, it's a trick. You can still get in. Uh, and in this one, it's empty. But you got some more magic powers here. You got you create an object. So if I want to... And they're integer coordinates, so like they're kind of rounded off nicely, you can see. And you can't put the same in the same spot, because that would be madness. This is not a game about quantum mechanics. Um, I'm going to make something that can't move. 
not integer coordinates, so you see it's smooth now. It's really anywhere I want. I'm going to make it pretty charged like that. And yeah, make like a couple of those like that. So now if I press go, you know, I have some interesting maybe simulation. So as it's going, I can still do stuff. Um, maybe I want to make a super strong one that can't move right here. Actually, probably a bit stronger. And it's not even strong enough, so I'm going to double it. Oh, it's kind of strong enough. Oh, well, it's freaking out a little bit because it's sucking them away so hard and then they fly away. But maybe if I weaken this and if I weaken this green guy. Oh, there you go. But yeah, so you can do all that, but all these changes happened after the simulation. And if I press R, it goes back actually to where I was. And this is useful to set up something if you want. I was actually you know, wondering if you guys want maybe a button here that says like submit to me, submit to Stuart. So you can set something up if you think it's a good level. And you could like just send it to me as a suggestion because it's really easy now for me to make more levels. I just need ideas. That's an, an instructional design thing really at this point. Um, tell me if that interests you, if you guys would use that. Um, I suppose that's kind of it for that. I guess there's a cube as well. I could make a, a moving charged cube that's kind of heavy, I guess. And maybe that would do some stuff. I don't know what this would do happens if I press go. Yeah, they got all sucked in there too and I put a red cube there and it's going in. And you know, you can divide and multiply. What happens? I don't know. Freaks out a little bit. So I made this game for the edX course design and development of games for learning. Um, it's open source so you can copy it for free and open it up and look at it and see how it works. Um, I welcome like feedback, suggestions, level design ideas, um, and uh, thanks for watching.